Welcome, my name is Justin, I'm a ClickUp consultant. I help teams and businesses um, be more productive, be more efficient and uh, just achieve more uh, using ClickUp. Uh, so this morning we had a interesting question on the ClickUp Facebook group, um, talking about pulling multiple tasks together uh, into one place. So you can clearly see what we're working on today or this week or this month, um, even though those those individual tasks might actually be from multiple different projects in multiple different spaces. Um, now this is a, a, a common question that's come up, uh, particularly with things like sprint planning. I'm actually working on it myself as well at the moment um, because I have multiple projects which have calls in them and I want all the calls across all the projects to be put together into one view, uh, which will be a calendar view because then I can sync it with my calendar. I don't want to sync um, all my tasks with my calendar, there'll be far too many notifications, but I do want um, important calls with clients. So first of all, uh, goals can do this. If we jump in here, um, if you create a goal with a target, I've got an example sprint here, we can see that I've got several tasks and a whole list in here. Um, but this is quite a different dashboard from your regular workspace, and it often can be a bit annoying to work from here. You can click on the individual tasks and go to them. So it is possible, uh, but for my use case of wanting a calendar view, that's definitely not possible here. Uh, so I'm going to show you another way of doing it. So the best way I can figure out to do this is essentially I want to create uh, a filter that will go through all of my projects and just pull out specifically, uh, in my case, the, the calls or events, or in this case, um, the goals for or the, the tasks for certain goals. Um, so I think the best way to do this is actually to just use a filter um, on a high level view. So if you have tasks uh, across multiple spaces, you'd do this on your everything view. Uh, but I'm going to do it on my space level view because everything I want is in this one space. Um, so first, before we create the view, we need to create what it's going to filter on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a custom field um, using labels. Now you could use drop downs, uh, but that would mean you could only have one goal per one task, uh, which might be fine in your case. You could also use tags. Um, however, I find them a bit bold in your face. So I'm just going to use goals. And we're going to have three goals, one for sales, one for retention, and one for uh, happiness. Okay, now it is giving me a warning saying this is being created in the space project management. Um, that is what I want. If we create it in just one list, then when we go to the space level, uh, it wouldn't show up if it wasn't in all the lists. So I'm going to go add column. Now I don't actually like the look of um, labels either, um, but the thing is because it's a custom field, we can hide it. Now the custom field is still there. If we go into any one of these tasks and go to the custom field area, it's still there. Um, but I don't want to go into each individual task and kind of assign them one at a time. That would take too long. So I'm just going to bring that back, assign it, and then hide it at the end. So I'm just going to randomly assign some goals here. And because it's labels, we can assign um, two labels to it in case one task happens to relate to two different goals. Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to hide it. Okay, and then all we need to do is create a view. So you could use any of these views. For my call example, I'd definitely use calendar. Um, but for this one, I'm just going to create a list. I'm going to name it sales for this goal. Now it's really simple. All we need to do is create a filter with our goals and say the goal is sales. Boom, done. Now we don't see that um, custom field, but we do see all the tasks that are related to it. So this is our goal one, and it will be divided into the different lists. Okay, let's save that. Um, if you are on business plan, you can save it for yourself or lock it so that no one else can mess with it. I'm gonna create a second one called retention, and then exactly the same step. Let's go filter by goals, goal is retention. Great, save, and last one, happiness. Filter by goal, goal is happiness. Save. All right, and there we go. And then the last step is I'm going to actually favorite these. Uh, yes, attention, favorite, happiness. Because this will be the uh, key I guess starting point for my day. So at the beginning of my day, I can jump straight into my three goals here, see how we're going, but then I can also just dive into my regular project management setup um, because this hasn't affected my structure at all. Um, I can still see the folders uh, and lists exactly as they were uh, before I did this, but I can also jump in and see my goals. 
All right, I hope this has been helpful. If you would like to talk to me more about how um, you can optimize and customize your setup, um, I always put my uh, consulting link in the description below. Have a look there. Uh, we can book a free call with me. Uh, it's about 30 minutes, totally free, um, to talk through your situation and what can be done. All right, see you in the next video.